Hey everyone, this is Kelly Kahoot, and I am so excited to be participating in a fall release blog hop celebrating the brand new release from Honeybee Stamps. Today I am creating a fall scene, kind of a sunflower field card using the Happy Fall Y'all stamp set. That is where all of the beautiful sunflowers have come from. And I'm taking the big sunflower and stamping that kind of randomly across my uh, paper there. And then the smaller sunflower I am filling in. And I'm using uh, Copic Friendly Ink because I'm going to color all of the images with Copic markers. Now the little girls that are taking uh, place in my little scene there, I kind of hold them up as I go throughout the video. Make sure that I'm getting everything filled in the way I want it. Those little girls are from Acorn Sisters. And also this little pumpkin is from that stamp set and then this little bird also. Now to begin with, I started out thinking that I was going to stack the pumpkins up in the scene and I end up not doing that. So you'll see how I use the pumpkins in just a little while. So I started out playing around coloring my sunflowers and the couple there to the right, um, I was trying to blend out colors and didn't really like that. And so I ended up just using different colors of yellows and mustard yellows and kind of orangey yellows and then flicking in the E19 and then doing the centers in E37. And right now, as you look at them, on the screen they kind of look like big messy blobs and even now as I'm kind of drawing in the stems they kind of still look like messy blobs but at the end when everything kind of goes together and I add some little details onto those sunflowers um, they look better and better so I'm gonna add some leaves because I do want the greenery kind of sticking out amongst the girls that are going to be the center there on the card. The smaller sunflowers there are the stems. I use the stems that came in the Happy Fall Y'all stamp set. And then the longer stems, you saw me, I had to draw those on with a ruler. Um, to color the stems and leaves, I did this super, super easy peasy simple. In fact, all of this Copic coloring is just simple coloring, not a whole lot of um, shading and, and fussing, you know, with the images and the shading and such. So I just went in with that YG17 and then the G85. Um, I wasn't liking the contrast that I was getting with the G85 and so I brought in the YG99 to really uh, deepen that up and you can see it really makes a difference. So I did that to uh, the bottoms of the leaves and then a little bit of shading right under those big heads of the sunflowers and then toward the ground. And then went back over all of that and smoothed that out again with the YG17. So super easy peasy, super simple. After I finished this coloring part of the sunflowers and the stems, I'm kind of going to set up um, kind of a little bit of a ground and a sky. I took some post-it tape and just did a line across the bottom there and I'm using Wild Honey Distress Ink to kind of give that a haze or a look of ground there. I'm going to flip it over and cover that up and then use tumbled glass to go on as the blue sky. Um, it, those distressings don't really hurt um, that coloring of the sunflowers because the coloring is so dark and that tumbled glass is such a light beautiful color. Okay so here are those pumpkins from the Acorn Sisters stamp set. I started out with a YR16 to get an orange base and that's a really bright kind of orangey orange and so I tone that down with the YR24 and that gives it more of a kind of realistic vintagey kind of fall look and then just super simple E37 um, for the stem. Now for the little birds um, I love this red combination for fall so I start out with an R08 and then go in with E19. I've been using E19 a ton for fall coloring because it's a brown, but it's a reddish brown. It's really pretty. And it just makes the be most beautiful red fall 
color I think I don't know anyway so this um, dye that goes with this is a solid dye and so I trimmed that and ran it through first and then set my little girls on top of the die cut that I had already done in my Misty and then stamp that down with again with some Copic friendly ink because I'm going to Copic color the little girls as well and that middle girl I didn't get her facial features very well so I stamped that one more time and then I'm going to get started on my Copic coloring now I'm using the same colors um, for some of the things that I used in the flowers so just like the little birds I'm gonna pull in that R08 and E19 and again I love this for fall so for leaves and you can see her here her little leaf hat I'm using that and it just makes an uh, orangey red um, rusty color I, I can't describe it it's just it's beautiful in real life um, so I'm just going in simple, simple coloring with that R08 and then bringing in a few little details and some, um, shadow areas with the E19. For the blue clothes, super simple, B00 and B02, uh, and just getting a base coat down and then bringing in some simple, simple little shadows around the little hems and their little arms and cuffs. And I forgot a little arm there, so I do go back and color her poor little arm that got left out. And I'm trying to, as you probably can tell, add just a little bit of each color to each girl. So each girl has a little bit of red. Each girl will have a little bit of blue. I brought the blue into the little girl's wings and then the scarf around the other girl's neck. And then the green dress. And this is a G24. And as you can tell on her little dress, I'm almost out of ink for that one. I do go back in and um, really saturate it well and fill it in. Um, but I'm going to use that G24 on the leaf, her dress, and then this middle girl's little hat. And then pull in G28 for um, some extra dimension and shadows. Easy peasy. Uh, color her little pocket with that G28 and then just easy uh, shadows around her little arms and sleeves and the hem of her dress. Next thing I did was get started on the little acorn sister skin and I just used an E21 as a base coat all over their little faces and arms and necks and hands and then just for a teeny tiny bit of a shadow I used E33 around um, their little faces where their hair like down around their necks and up by their hats and then on the girls with dresses just right there like where their little knees would be and it would uh, make just a tiny little shadow there super simple coloring now for the brown clothes, I used an E23, really uh, light, kind of a creamy chocolate brown, and then went in with a darker E27 um, for the little acorn top hat. Love that little hat, it's so cute. And then I also did uh, the second girl's little scarf and shoes. And I had forgotten to color the little green dress girls. Her little shoes end up being blue. I went back and colored those blue. So I'm going to start on their hair. And I do their hair all kind of using the same colors. But I, I made them um, different intensities. Maybe I used E23, E27, and E29 on both of the uh girls on the outsides. I just made the girl on the left her hair a lot darker than the the other girl. Her, she's got some more highlights in her hair. And then the center girl, her hair is going to be a lot lighter than the other two. Hers is E33 and E35. And the only places I added little shadows was right there around their neck in behind, um, what would be in behind their neck and just a little bit around their ears and their hats. For rosy cheeks, I always use an R20, 
and then for a little extra something to make their eyes just a little glossy and the, these glaze pens also give just a little bit of dimension. They almost look like uh, Nuvo drops or something like that. I trim that card panel out with some stitched rectangle dies from Honeybee Stamps and I'm adding that on top of some coordinating cardstock. I pop my little girls onto some foam tape and I'm going to add them and I was going to make this whole scene like with little pumpkins around their feet and I love this so much when I was done I ended up just leaving it just like that because I love just the little girls in the field of sunflowers. So I'm going to use the greeting sending a season of blessings and I am just going to stamp that with some VersaFine ink because I love how nice and crisp VersaFine ink is for the greetings. So sending a season of blessings. And then for the inside, that's where I'm going to add those cute little pumpkins and one of the cute little birds that I spent all that time coloring. So I could make sure that I got those little pieces in there as well. Just gonna pop those on there with a little bit of glue dots. And this card is all finished. I want to show you the details that I added into those sunflowers and you can see when you finish they don't look like big blobs but I added a little bit of that black glaze pen. I had so much fun playing with all these new things from Honey Bee Stamps and I hope you guys will check out everyone else on the blog hop. And all the supplies can be found at honeybeestamps.com and are listed in the description box below. I appreciate your thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Talk to you guys next time. Bye bye.